Now to run this, we simply can open up this chat window, which is new since they released the agent chat, and we click on this link, and this will give us an interactive chat experience with our workflow that we just created. Now this is intended for developer purposes, and I'll show you in just a moment how we can take this and embed it in a live website using Easy Auth. So for now, this is our experience with our chat interface with our workflow, and I'm just gonna come down here and say hi, and let's see what the chat agent is going to respond to us. Now let's see how we could embed this into a live website if we want it, for example. So if you want to take this beyond the kind of this demo experience and really use it in real life, so expose it to like a customer service agent, for example. So to do that, you need to configure Easy Auth, which there's this nice little link right up here. And Microsoft has made this super simple, even compared to what this experience was just a few weeks ago. So I simply click on add an identity provider. You're gonna to wanna to wanna to select Microsoft and it's going to pre-select and pre-populate most of these items for you. And now that we're back here, you'll see that we no longer see this chat window here, and we have this chat client URL up here. And this is going to be our iframe URL that we're going to use for this. So I am going to click on this, and we'll just see what this experience looks like, asking me to log in using the easy auth that we configured. And here's a iframe hosted version of that same chat session. <music>